Turn on video mode. What's up guys, my name is Matt Zeffi and in this video I'm talking about my top 5 favorite smart home products. Let's get started. So I moved into this space about a year and a half ago now, and I wanted it to be entirely automated for the most part. I've gotten there over the years. I didn't do it in all in one shot, although I, of course, try to, as we all do. But over the year and a half that I have lived here, I've kind of acquired somewhat of a, a sense of what items really stick and I use daily. And I chose products that are all compatible with HomeKit, and or Siri shortcuts because personally that's my favorite and I have all Apple devices so I wanted it to be best compatible with Siri and the Apple ecosystem. I will also add that if you are a YouTuber or video production person who's doing a lot of things at home or even in your office and you're looking to automate things, it's awesome to be able to just kind of sit down and control everything around you rather than having to get up and manually control things. You can kind of just tell Siri to do it or do it from your phone. Speaking of smart home devices, I think it would be really smart of you to smash that like button. That was cheesy. So without further ado, let's start with my number one product. That is the Lutron Cassettas. I love them. They always hit. Out of all my smart home devices, I would say that these are the most reliable. I did purchase the hub with it. They do come with a Pico remote, but I honestly never use it because I just tell Siri to turn on and off the lights or I'll just manually do it. The one thing I'm not crazy about with these lights is just kind of the design. Um, I don't like how there's so much text and kind of just drawings all over the place. I would much rather a sleek, uh, more simple design. But I will say the face plates on Lutron um, devices in general are actually really nice. But that's very nitpicky. <laughs> Moving on to number two, I have these SmartBots. And it's actually from the company SmartBots. So these are their main products. They have a ton of other products, but this happens to be my favorite and I use it in a few different applications. One of the applications is I installed one on my PC so that I could remotely control my PC and turn it on when I'm away from home or if I want to turn it off as well. And you can watch that video at the link above. By far the best application that I've used these smart bots for is the buzzer into my building. So I live in a fairly old building with a buzzer that looks very old and there are definitely no smart features to that. I actually call it a grandma buzzer because it reminds me of the one that my grandma had in her building. <laughs> but nevertheless, you can still make it smart by adding something into here. You just make sure that it's okay. In the summertime, I, when I like to go running outside, I hate bringing keys with me. And honestly, I trust the fact that I can just leave my keys at home and it will trigger the buzzer when I arrive here. So those are just two examples of what you can do with the smart bots, but let me tell you, you can be as creative as your mind can get, and there's so many different applications that you can use these for. To use these remotely, you need a hub with it. So I bought the hub that they sell that has an IR blaster inside it, and I use that to control my TV and also my electric fireplace, which doesn't actually produce heat. It's really just for show. Moving on to number three, I have the August Smart Lock. This is the generation two or three, one of those two. I will, I will definitely link it in the description down below. And I actually have it on my door over there. I love the August Smart Lock. When I was renovating this space to be able to let people and workers in and out was really helpful. And I could kind of let my friends in if I'm like not home for some reason or family, I can grant them an access key and things like that. So the August Smart Lock Pro is fantastic. And also to add to what I was saying before about going running without keys in the summertime, I can buzz myself in with the smart bot and then this lets me into my actual door. Moving on to number four, I'm not going to whip out the box for this one because honestly, this is the most basic one that I'm going to mention. Philips Hue. The LifeX ones are also pretty popular, but I chose the Philips Hue just for, I guess, the brand recognition, and I felt like they were a more reliable product. And to be fair, they have been. They have been great. I have two in the lamp behind me and two in the floor lamps or wash lights behind me as well. I won't go into too much detail on the Philips Hue. We've all seen them, and they are a fantastic product, so I'll give them that. I, I have them connected to IFTTT, to do a couple extra 
things and I think it's a lot of fun to mess around with them and get as creative as possible. Moving on to my fifth and final accessory, I have these Voco Link smart plugs. I recently got them in order to make my air conditioner smart because I had uh, air conditioners that were gifted to me from my brother, shout out to my brother, and I didn't, you know, what, what am I gonna spend money on an air conditioner if I already have them, f you know, I'm not gonna buy these kind of expensive smart air conditioners, so I just was able to connect it to these smart plugs, and pff, now they're smart air conditioners without the extra money. And I found the Vocal Links to be extremely reliable and affordable. I've used these, like I said, on my air conditioners, on certain light bulbs that aren't smart, and on my coffee maker, which is a very old percolator that is far superior to any other coffee maker. Okay, quick bonus product sort of thing. Apple Watch. Okay, this is more expensive than all of the products I, you know, and this is not really a smart home product but the Apple HomeKit capabilities on here make it really useful to just hit the digital crown and command make commands in your home. And you can also click the HomeKit app. So the Apple Watch is fantastic if you have a smart home to kind of just go through the digital crown to tweak certain lights or give commands. I love the Apple Watch for HomeKit. So just a bonus tip, if you have an Apple Watch or you're considering getting one and you have smart home devices, I would recommend it. That's about it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more smart home videos such as this. I post here weekly and I would greatly appreciate it if you did subscribe. I'm going to be leaving links down below to everything that I mentioned in this video. Those are affiliate links, so they do help the channel and I'd greatly appreciate it. But thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you got anything out of this video and I'll see you next time.